In Salesforce, we gather and track groups of people as campaign members. Let's add people to a campaign we created to track a fundraising appeal. There are several ways we can add people to the campaign, one at a time, in groups, from a Salesforce report, or via an import. We can add contacts or leads, or a mixture of the two. But for this campaign, we're only going to add contacts, as these are all people who already have a relationship with our organization. If we want to add contacts one by one, we can do that from the campaign history related list on their contact record. Let's search for Juan Brady and open Juan's contact record. Find the campaign history related list, click on the add to campaign button, search for our campaign, and then choose a status for this individual. It will default to sent. We'll leave it as sent and save. And we're done. Juan has now been added to our campaign. But maybe instead we have a short list of individuals we want to add. Let's go back to our campaign, find the campaign member related list, and click on add contacts. We can now easily search for specific people to include in our member list. Let's search for Lisa Shaw and Park Tum and add them both to our campaign. Once we've added the campaign members, click next so we can set their status. Let's set the member status to responded. If any of the individuals we're adding are already in the campaign, we can choose to keep existing member status or update the status. We are going to update the status as we want to make sure the status of responded is their final status. Both of these methods work fine for single contacts or small groups of people. But what if we want to add people to a campaign based on a report? We want to reach out to former donors who haven't given yet this year. And luckily, NPSP already has a report for us. On the reports tab, search for Liebunt, which means last year, but unfortunately not this year. Let's review the report criteria to confirm that we've eliminated people who've opted out of mailings and those with incomplete addresses. Once the report is just right, select add to campaign. We can choose the right campaign or we can create a new one right now. See the what are campaigns and how would we use them video for help with creating campaigns. And don't worry about creating duplicate campaign members. Salesforce won't let us add the same contact to a campaign more than once. And NPSP's household mailing list feature can ensure that each household only receives one piece of mail. Please note that the add to campaign button is only available when your report type includes leads or contacts. If we had a list of people on a spreadsheet, we can also import them directly into a campaign. We'd click import leads and contacts on the campaign members related list and follow the prompts to use the Salesforce data import wizard. Visit Salesforce help and training for how to import with this tool. Now that we've added all the people we want to contact, we can use this campaign to create mailing lists, send emails via our email platform and track donations. For more information, check out the NPSP documentation and the other videos in the series on using campaigns with NPSP. Thanks for watching.